Uh, well, how does uh, biodiversity interact with internet or vice versa? Uh, yes, that's a good question. Uh, I would say uh, a lot because uh, in the past uh, uh, the main problem was for knowing biodiversity, for really appreciating biodiversity, was to find information on organisms, on uh, animals, uh, plants, uh, whatever, which was difficult. You had to go into a library and you get books, and these books were difficult, difficult to find, and difficult to read. Now it's much easier. Uh, if you know the name of an organism, of a plant, of an animal, you just put the name into Google and you find an enormous amount of information on that. But there is a problem. How to get to a name? If I see a butterfly and I want to know the name of this butterfly, how can I do? And here again, internet is important. What we have developed in the Key to Nature project was a series of very easy tools, which everybody can use, uh, to give a name to a plant, to a mushroom, to an animal uh, uh, which is seen. They uh, run on mobile devices, for example, iPhones or in the internet itself, uh, and everybody would be able to find the name of a thing. And once we have the name, then Internet, uh, with all the amount of information it contains, uh, is able to tell us what we want to know about these organisms. If I have a plant, I want to know whether it is toxic, or if I can eat it, or if I can grow it in my garden. Where does it come from? But if I don't know the name, I cannot know anything. Uh, and so this is a, a possibility which we have opened. Uh, schools especially, for schools, but not only, also for citizens, is what they call now citizen science. Uh, one idea which I have and I would like to, to finish uh, within this year is to prepare a guide to the urban flora of Venice, trees, shrubs, weeds, uh, which occur in the historical part of Venice, to be put uh, as an application for the iPhone or smartphones in general for tourists in English, so that they come to Venice and they do not only see Piazza San Marco or uh, the monuments, but they can also appreciate the rich flora of the town, which is very rich and surely very interesting for people coming from other parts of Europe or, or for the world.